headed on down south back into the United States. We're leaving on June the 25th. It was a three hour drive once we left, got on the road back to the U.S. Customs and Border. The only issue was the lady didn't believe us when we told her we threw away everything, all our food and vegetables and meat and stuff. They made us stay in our seats. They came on board. They went to the refrigerator, pulled out all the items in the refrigerator. They were kind enough to put them back in the refrigerator rather than just leaving them out and said, thank you. Have a nice day. Send us on our way. <music> are back in the United States of America. Woman didn't get arrested at the border crossing. Yay! The lady didn't believe that we didn't have fresh fruits and vegetables though, so she came on the bus and checked out. We didn't have anything, so we were good to go. Yay! Da -da 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 to our campground for tonight. Timberlane. Timberland Acres RV Park. We're going to stay here. Indians and the bears and the fish. Can't see them the dirty window. Well, not sure what the need for putting us in the flip flop lane is. Hmm. Anyway, everybody is totally exhausted. So we're going to just get here. Alright, that's road one. We're looking for road seven. Just barely set up and probably lay down and rest for a minute. Coming up on road seven. We will hang a ride on road seven.
We're going to be staying at the Timberland Acres RV Park, and it's in Trenton, Maine, very close to Bar Harbor. About 30 minutes from Bar Harbor. That, that was our goal, to get back to Bar Harbor and get to do a little sightseeing. Uh, we booked us a tour on... Acadia National Park bus tours. Yes, and... The day before we went on our tour was beautiful. The day after we went on our tour was beautiful. The day we went, it was rainy, foggy. You really couldn't see anything. You much. could see miles and miles and miles of fog. Yeah, that was kind of disappointing because uh, there were several things there that I really wanted to see. Here we are back in Maine. We just got back from Canada yesterday. We're heading out to Bar Harbor. As Maine has always been for us, it's rainy, foggy, a little bit chilly, but it's still pretty. It's kind of what you picture Maine being, kind of foggy and rainy and coastal areas. You see the boats out there on the water even though it's foggy and rainy. Birch Bay Village. Technically in Bar Harbor. There's Bar Harbor lobster. No shortage of lobsters here. They must breed like bunny rabbits because you can buy lobsters at the barber shop, lobsters at the shoe shop, lobsters on the side of the road. friends back home in Alabama where it's 97 degrees and 200% humidity but it's 55 degrees and rainy here in Maine on the Bar Harbor coast we're on Main Street in Bar Harbor which is beautiful I'll get a picture of that in a little bit but I wanted to get a picture of these boats on the harbor first kind of show you what that's all about we're taking a bus tour later in the day got to pick up tickets here so we came here to find out where we're supposed to get the tickets and there's the four mass sailboat a little bit bigger than what we would see back home in the Gunnersville Lake beautiful beautiful boat we get a close-up of that check that out you don't see those in Gunnersville, do you, Richard? No. It's not that big. It's big, big, big. Beautiful area. You're looking at Main Street in Bar Harbor, right on the coast. Bar Harbor is an island. So we got here from Trenton, where we're staying. You can see how pretty Main Street is. The view of the coast down at the foot of the hill. Beautiful little Main Street area.
Testa's restaurant is where we're picking up our tickets for the bus tour. Here comes Grammy. Technically this Main Street area is Agamont Park, but I wanted to show you the little red and black tugboat out there. This reminds me of the Popeye cartoons I used to watch about 200 years ago when I was a kid. You got a lighthouse cruise boat you can take. We happen not to have time to do that, but that looks like that would be fun. There's even gift shops in the basement of some of these buildings. Gives you a little better view of Main Street. Sorry for the weed eater noise in the background. They're mowing their yards and weed eating as if it's summertime up here. <laughs> They park their boats out like they do in uh, Plymouth. You just pick a pick a ball and hook up to it. And that, yep. I can imagine the the sea gets pretty rough up here. It can, but just we want to see how it can get real. Well, <clears throat> we got some surf. Mm -hmm. I was looking at the wind. Thunder Hole is a function of waves oh, okay. and mid tide, but mostly waves. Right. And not too much is going on. Yeah. Does everybody have a map?
this is Thunder Rock, Thunder Hole, Thunder Hole. When the waves come in, it, it's really dependent on the bigger waves. It locks air in the hole, and when they come back out, it makes a big thunder sound. I like it. It's a The Wild Gardens of Acadia was a place that we were allowed to get off the bus and walk around and spend a few minutes of our own time just walking through the beautiful gardens and reflecting. Um, there was over 300 native plant species, they said, at, at this uh, gardens. Uh, the garden is managed by the Bar Harbor Garden Club, which is a group of volunteers that maintains the area. It is open year-round, but you do need a park entrance fee to get into the uh, garden. There's a lot of walking paths and uh, some things to see. There was a uh, like a gazebo that somebody had built back in the 1900s, early 1900s. Uh, it's next to the Sewer de Mont Spring, and uh, the garden is actually about two miles south of Bar Harbor near the intersection of Route 3 and Park Loop Road. Uh, the shuttle bus put us off in the uh, area and we were allowed to go out and take pictures. They kept the, the bus driver, which was the speaker of the tour, kept mentioning a uh, yellow lady slipper, which is a type of flower, very unique type of flower. And the blooms look like a lady's high heel slipper. Uh, so he told us about that and was uh, giving us information that it was about to go extinct or not extinct, but uh, not be in that area anymore because it was just on its last legs. But I walked around and I never could find that particular item, but I did see a sign indicating that it was there somewhere. We just didn't have enough time to find it. This is the beginning of our campsite. These are the biggest that we have ever stayed on before in our life.
Land RV Park. They have a really, really nice RV park. Really clean. The driveway is a bit bumpy, but uh, other than that, everything was perfect. The sides were nice and long. Quiet. Off the road, so you don't hear traffic noise. Park. In one and a quarter miles, turn right on Myrick Street. <laughs>